in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make a shift dress and if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up and drop your comment down below so first and foremost i'm going to mark out this uh this clothes label here it's not going to be among what i'm using so here i'm going to add half inch as my starting point so here now becomes my starting point so my neck i'm going to make the neck to be three or let me just i'm going to make the neck to be 3.75 by four 3.75 3.75 yeah so i'm going to connect because what i'm making is for size size 14 i'm making for size 14 and it's not going to have zipper or anything so the shoulder i'm going to use shoulder seven and a half so which is here and i have uh, almost 7.25 inches as the sleeve so i'm going to leave here I'm going to come down by one inches and connect to my neckline so can you guys see it so the next step for me is to measure the bust from her shoulder to bust because she's busty so i'm going to mark from shoulder line to be 11 here then her waistline i'm going to mark it as uh, she's not all that tall so i'm going to mark it as 16 and a half to be on the safer side so once i mark it at 16 and a half the full length i'm going to make her full length to be 38 this 38 includes the this 38 includes both the the full length and the folding then from this waist i'm going to come down by eight by eight inches I'm going to come down by eight inches as the, as the hip so i'm going to um, this is the hip from waist to hip eight inches so this is the full length then this is the folding allowance then this is the waist i'm going to repeat what i said From shoulder to here is the bust, from shoulder here is the waist, from here to here, from the waist down here is the hip, then from shoulder to down here is the full length. So since she's size 14, I'm going to come down here. by eight and a half for the sleeve opening so here will become the sleeve so her bust is 40 according to my size my size chart here her bust is 40 so 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 which is here so i'm going to add extra three inches to it so the waist the waist according to what i have here the waist is 34 so i'm going to divide 34 by 4 34 divided by 4 will give me 8.5 so here is her waistline plus 3 inches that i'm going to add on it which is here then the hip is 44 44 divided by 4 will give me 11 so i'm going to place my tip like so here and then mark out three inches 
extra then for the full length here what i will do is since here is 11 i'm going to make here to be 10 because i don't want the hip and the full length to be equal so i'm going to add also my three inches so i'm going to connect the lines so from here to here from here to this point also from this point to this point so that you guys will see the shape from this point to this point also so from here to here then from here to here so you can see the shape of it so the next thing for me to do is remember that this is her sleeve so I'm going to use freehand to connect this are you seeing what I'm doing so I'm using freehand to connect this so that's it so that's how it will look like sometimes if you notice that the armhole is kind of smaller you can come in a little bit but when you are coming in that come in a little bit then shape remember that here doesn't have enough space if you are coming in so here i'm going to use the front also for my back because there's no much difference so the back i'm going to make the back to be one and a half inches in length so after i'm going to use my free hand to shape out so firstly what i'm going to do is to trim out the bodies before coming to the neck so I'm going to cut it out and then place and show you guys so guys if you notice I have cut out the front which is here and I didn't cut out the neck part so I have already folded my back panel into two so you can see I've already folded it into two and placed my front panel on the for the back on the back so i'm going to start cutting out from this side before i can be able to cut the interface for this so i'm going to use this guide to cut out the back neckline So if you notice here, there is space here, that's why I flip it over, I flip it over to get the accurate stem measurement. Are you seeing it? The front and the back sleeve are now equal. So since I have cut out the back neckline, I'm going to pick up the front and then cut out the front neckline. So this is as simple as ABCD. Now I have the front and I also have the back. So the next thing is for me is to cut out the interface that I will use to finish the neckline. And we are true with this. So guys, these are the interface. This is for the back. Why this is for the front. So I'm going to join the interface together then join the main fabric together and I'm going to show you guys when I'm done stitching. So guys, I have interlocked the edges of the shoulder, also on the two sides. I have also finished here at the down part, the front and the back. Can you see it? 
so the next thing for me to do for me to finish the neck i have also finished the shoulder line of this so what i have to do now is to place this is to place the interface with the main fabric then after placing it like so make sure that the two edges the two shoulders are on the same line then when i place i will then sew and show you guys the final result of it before the finishing touches after joining them together this is how it looks like so are you guys seeing it have a perfect finishing for the neckline so i'm going to add my brand label here then after adding my brand label i'm going to stitch i'm going to stitch this sleeve fold it a little bit inside also fold here inside then iron and use hemming gum to hem this part so if you enjoyed this i'm going to show you guys the final result of everything if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up then drop your comments down below don't forget to follow us on instagram we have sales ongoing this collection is already live on our website and also on our instagram page so check it out this is the final result of our shift dress so you can see that here the back lap so well it doesn't come out or it doesn't fold out it's kind of so thick so the fabric you can see that the shoulder line is super aligned and super flat so the armhole you can see the armhole so this is the design that i made with it so this is one of my collection so this is how it comes in and it's super comfortable you can rock it with your belt sneakers heel whatever you want to rock it with or slay it with so see you guys in the comment section so this is how i closed it you can see that the inside or the wrong side is as super neat as the right side so are you seeing it so that's how everything is are you guys seeing so see you guys in the comment section i will be down there waiting for you make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up then drop your comments down below do have a lovely day